But what I'm finding is that there's still more that can be done, that the low hanging fruits there. And if everybody actually takes action on them and, and then take them on board, because we calculate the global shipping emissions, that's where we'll continue to see a decrease of the, norm, of the global levels. I don't call it a tax. I know there is a way of referring to it. Some refer to it as a tax, others as a levy, because um, it's, um, it's, it's understandable. The terminology is understandable. But what we are developing right now, and this was agreed in the strategy last year, and that was the agreement and, and the objective set up from the member states, it's we're developing technical measures and pricing mechanism. So the technical measures is a fuel intensity in standards that is going to cap the GHG emissions on the different type of fuels. And that goes in line with the pricing mechanism that is going to support this transition. We still need to carry out more analysis, more assessments into how LNG will continue to probably play a role in the longer term. But the reality is that it is a clean, it is a cleaner fuel. It is a fuel that, in the transition, is reducing emissions. And we shouldn't just discard it. Whilst there are not other alternatives that can provide the same uh, results that LNG are, are, are offering right now. And I know that this is a divisive point out there, but this is what we continue to work with it. But if we actually stop something like LNG right now without uh, an alternative, then we go back to square one.